house today reptile house this is a reptile house not a reptilian house but we could be reptilians if you want I don't know it's too early guys I actually have things to do today Sterling has a vet appointment that we have to take him to so he's always had trouble shedding and this has been something that's happened since I've got him usually if I can catch him on the day that he's shedding then it's one complete shed and he has no problems but if I am just an hour late or if I try to put in there a day early then it's a disaster so he has retained eye caps and I was doing a bunch of research and basically it says that it's fine but this has been something that's been going on and on and on and they have yet to come off with a shed I feel like I didn't do the best job explaining his eye cap, so I do that a little later. And I'm worried that it might be something else or that it might cause problems down the line. So today we are taking him to the vet. Today we are also going to clean out tanks. This is honestly the third time that I feel myself saying that sentence. And I don't know if the other ones are going to make it in, but I do plan on cleaning out tanks today. Yesterday I got the beta tank cleaned out, which that in itself was an accomplishment for me. to get that done and yeah so let's take sterling to the vet so i got sterling little blankets here so he can hide in between those layers so he doesn't feel so out in the open on the way there and we're gonna put him in his container take Sterling to the vet it is very cold I think it's 34 degrees right now and I took him out of his thing and he was on his hot spot and he was super warm but luckily the one good feature about my Jeep is that I have seat warmers so he is in this seat in his little Tupperware and it's nice and warm I mean it's not as warm as his hot spot obviously but hopefully he's not gonna be super freezing so let's go. And we are here. So I didn't really record much when I was at the vet because <laughs> we're not at that point yet. But this is their chameleon mascot whose name is Lieutenant Dan and I thought he was super cute. He only has three legs if you read the little sign. He had a shedding accident and had to be amputated. But this is the vet's office which is super cute. They have all these little dog paintings in there and they're just the nicest people. There he is on the table. He's the cutest. Okay, that's all. He can see. Welcome back to whatever day this is. I've quickly learned that I am not good at keeping track of what day it is. I failed at cleaning tanks out yesterday or whatever day that was. So we're going to do that right now.
update on Sterling from his vet visit from yesterday. I'm sitting here next to his tank. Today he's doing pretty okay. His eyes are a little bit puffy, but other than that, he's acting normal. He was super happy to get those eye caps off yesterday. So I didn't really explain it that well in my introduction to me taking him to the vet clip. So Sterling is the only one of my snakes that has a problem shedding ever and he always has. So he always has a problem from his neck up and that includes his eye caps. So his eye caps will actually stick when he sheds but usually we just wait and soak him really good and the next shed that eye cap will come off and then it's a vicious cycle over and over again. Well this time it didn't come off so we kept soaking him and we waited for the next shed and in between this time my husband was like kind of rubbing at his eyes with one of those little rubber finger tips. It was a tip that was given by Brian Barczyk on his vlog channel which we thought was really helpful but they still wouldn't come off so we waited for the next shed so now two sheds later they still didn't come off so we decided to go ahead and take him to the vet so we didn't want that to get worse because with stuck eye caps, if they get worse and worse and worse, your snake actually can go blind and we obviously didn't want that. So we took him to the vet and she got them off, but it was pretty difficult. She had to kind of work at them and work at them and she had to be a little more forceful than she would have liked to have been. So she prescribed us some eye drops to put into his eyes that we have to use every single day for the next two weeks to prevent ulcers. And right now his eyes are a little puffy and it hurts. <laughs> it hurts my heart so I'm not going to show you his puffy eyes but I will show you him in his hide. We took everything out of his tank so his tank looks super bare right now. That's just because we have to pull him out every night and put that stuff in his eyes and we don't want him bumping his eyes on all of his cage decorations and making it worse. So that's where we're at right now. Tomorrow I'm actually going to call the doctor and just make sure that that puffiness is okay. I know she probably told me it was and that's why we have the eye drops but I get scared. So I'm going to call tomorrow make sure everything's okay. But he's acting normal and okay right now. So that's the update on Sterling. Hi guys welcome back and happy Tuesday. I am quickly realizing that you guys are going to quickly realize that I wear the same three hoodies all the time. So... That's a thing that I do. I literally put on my fancy shirts. I would make air quotes, but I'm holding a child. So imagine fancy shirts in air quotes. I only put those on when I'm filming videos and that's about as dressed up as I get. Otherwise, I'm wearing hoodies all the time. Anyway, today is Tuesday and it is my birthday and I am years old today. Just kidding. I'm 26 years old. Anyway, I got this awesome tripod from my parents. So that's how I have been selfieing. And my husband bought me Final Cut Pro. So video editing is already so much easier. And my brother bought me a Yeti microphone, which I'm also super excited about because that is hopefully going to make the audio in my video so much better and so much less echoey. With the exception of my husband, I literally just started telling people that I made YouTube videos like a couple weeks ago. So yeah, they got me a bunch of YouTube stuff, which I am super happy about. I've been wanting a new microphone for forever, but I couldn't bring myself to pay that much for one. So thank you, little brother. You're awesome. I'm literally not doing anything today. I am sitting here in my hoodie and my pajamas and doing nothing. So happy birthday to me, and I'm pretty sure this ends this week of vlogs. <laughs> if you are not already following me on Instagram, you can follow me there where I post pictures and videos of my animals throughout the week. And if you like this video, feel free to like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. I put out new videos every single Sunday. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.